Relationship coaching is a tool for people to use when, for any aspect of their relationship really, um, when you first uh, enter into a relationship that you feel is, is the, the one. Um, it can be useful to you both in helping you to determine what your shared goals are, what your dreams are, your hopes for the future, who's going to be the main breadwinner, are we both going to be, how are we going to divide up the household responsibilities, are we going to have children, when do we want to have children, um, how many children do we want to have, where do we want them to be educated, whose house are we going to spend Christmas at, your parents, my parents. A cohabiting agreement can also talk about uh, things like, well, what if one of us gets a promotion and, and has to, you know, is given a job opportunity in a different city? If we own a house, what are we going to do? Are we going to sell it? Are we going to rent it? Is one of us going to stay here and the other one go? Uh, something that um, a lot of newly formed couples uh, don't think about um, is do we need a will? <laughs> and if we need a will, what are we going to put in it? And how are we going to divide our assets um, in the event that, you know, one of us goes? And what's going to happen to things? If we have children and one or both of us happens to pass away, um, you know, who's, who's going to look after those children? If, if we come to the point where we decide we can't live together anymore um, and we have children, how are we going to deal with co-parenting? Yeah, cohabiting agreement is it's more about um, having having a plan for your lives together as a couple. Throughout your life, you're you're told you know you need to set goals. One of the most important areas that we often overlook is when we're starting out in a relationship. You know you have goals and dreams that you want to fulfill with with that person, but uh, being able to get them down on paper makes it more of a reality. It's, it's like the law of attraction, especially if you do a goal map and you put it somewhere prominent. You're always thinking, okay, this, this is what we're building towards. This is, this is what my goal is. It, it can benefit you both in the end by knowing you have had the chance to discuss these issues, which can be rather emotional issues. They, they may not be issues that you wouldn't really feel comfortable discussing with each other without someone else there to say, let's, let's look at what you've said and let's sort it out sort of thing. Not really a security net, but it gives you a sense of security. It, it, can can improve your relationship because through the coaching you're both going to have been able to put your input in and that in itself will have helped you to understand the other person a bit better um, on a deeper level. It will give you a, a, a sense of satisfaction knowing that you both have the same goals in mind or you, you have agreed upon the same goals. Um, so therefore you have that uh, confidence and assurance in, in your relationship.